Welcome to Local Matters, the official Laverne podcast. I'm Ann Smith, Public Information Officer for the City of Laverne. And today I have with me Parks and Recreation Event Coordinator, Kathy Melendi. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So Kathy, tell me about your job. Tell me about your day-to-day. What's it look like? I work with local vendors, businesses, and other city departments to schedule different elements of the events. That way we have something different to offer everybody that attends. And we have events all throughout the year, correct? Yes, we do. Um, Okay, so tell me how many events you typically have every year. Uh, We offer about 12 events a year. Um, We offer family-friendly events that offer the community to come out and meet new neighbors, see old friends, and have fun. And tell me, just kind of highlight one or two of your absolute favorite events throughout the year. Um, I like the Block Party Touch a Truck event. Uh, It's fun watching the kids come out and explore the different vehicles, um, wear their little hard hats and vests. So that one's a favorite. And then I like the Fall Festival as well. Block Party, for those who don't know, that was actually a May event. That was May 11th this year. Um, That's right before school gets out each year. Um, That one... We have vendors, activities, the displays, food trucks. It's a big event for the city. Okay, so let's talk about the latest event that we had. That was the Independence Day celebration. How'd that go? It went great. Um, We always have a great turnout for that event, Um, great music. We had zone status this year. Always have a great fireworks show afterwards, lots of food trucks, uh, family activities, lots of fun. One event that's been growing steadily over the last few years has been Howl at the Moon. We've had it for quite a while But I know the last two or three, maybe even four years, it's grown exponentially. So tell me about that one. It has. Um, This year it's August 16th. Um, It is at the park. It's for all age groups. We've got 12 different age divisions. Um, The top three finishers in each age group get a medal. And then the top female and male overall will receive a trophy. Um, The registrations have already began. Uh, Right now we've got early registration going on until August 2nd. It's $30. It'll increase to $35 from August 16th, or from August 3rd through August 16th. And then we do in-person registrations for $40 at the race. Okay. Um, check-in okay. is at 530 at Pavilion B at the back of Veterans Memorial Park. Uh, race will begin at 8 o'clock, and it will go from the back of the park to City Hall and then return it to the park. And, I mean, typically we have dozens of people at this event and I mean last year off the top of your head do you know how many people Uh, we had 180 participants last year more than a dozen yes (laughs) yes and it has grown each year so we're anticipating hopefully over 200 this year that'd be amazing Mm -hmm. so our next event for the calendar year is actually our biggest event of the year which is formerly the old timers festival and now we are calling it the Laverne Fall Festival that name changed Last year. Last year was our our first year. Correct. This will be our second. Um, This year, we're planning to start the event out with a fall festival cruise in. That will be on September 13th. We've got Clay Claxton and the Road West Band performing at that event. We'll have raffles, placement trophies, and food trucks. And then that'll kick us off for Saturday's fall festival and parade, which is September 14th. The parade will start at City Hall at 10 a.m., ends at Veterans Memorial Park where the festival is. Hobo Road and Phoenix Rising will be performing at that event. Uh, We'll have family activities, vendors, petting zoo, food trucks, and more. So I I know we've had some rough weather, I feel like, over the last few years. So I know we're hoping and praying for some good good weather. Yes, absolutely. I think we're due for it. We are due for it. So hopefully we'll be able to kick off the whole event this year. (laughs) Um, Do you... Do you have a lot of just booth vendors, like, for example, jewelry vendors, food, not necessarily food vendors, but like dessert Um, vendors and people who are just set up kind of the mom and pop? We do. We have a lot of local vendors that come to the event, food trucks. Um, Registrations are open. We haven't announced it yet, but we do have some registrations coming in. I think we have about 20 vendors registered right now, and we usually get around 90 to 100 vendors at this event. That's, so it's a big event for the yeah, city. That's a, that's a huge event. It and, is a huge event. And it's set up all throughout pretty much Veterans Memorial Park. It is. We've got different elements. You've got the family activities, the pet and zoo. We've got entertainment. We've got music. Um, it, it takes up the entire park. And it's for the city itself, I know, it's pretty much all hands on deck. There's a lot of meetings where pretty much every department will send a representative. And it's... Yes, this one, and with all the events, you know, several departments you know work together for each of the event but this one is the biggest by far 
So I believe after the fall festival, our next event is Halloween. So what do we offer for the community for Halloween? Um, this year, it's Goblins and Goodies and Zombie Dance. It's going to be on October 26th this year from noon to 3 at Veterans Park. Um, this year, we're going to have a costume contest and a Best Booth contest. That's new to the event this year. And then we're going to have the Zombie Dance Off at Pavilion A this year. So we're looking forward to that. That one's always a really good event to see the kids I mean, dressed up. Personally, that's my favorite event yeah. just because all the kids are dressed up and mm-hmm. running around getting candy. And yeah. That's it's one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. And um, So you've condensed, like you said, the uh, the zombie dance night into... We've put it into the Goblins event. Uh, we feel like it'll be a better turnout. It's going to... Uh, the, the event, the goblins will start at noon and then the dance off will start around one thirty. Is the costume contest open to anyone or is it just kind of kids under 12 or? Um, it will, it'll be to the kids. I, I'm not sure on the age limit right now, but it'll have different age groups with different categories. Okay. So your department, your parks department, you guys aren't limited to just planning events for the city. I know that there's at least two ceremonies that you plan uh, Martin Luther King Jr. and Veterans Day. So tell me about the Veterans Day. That's our next one, I believe. Um, that one is on Veterans Day itself, November 11th. It'll be here at City Hall at 11 a.m. Uh, that event, we have guest speakers come um, speak on their experiences and how it's affected them. Um, and then we'll spend some time honoring and thanking military veterans at that event. And I know that's a very popular event. It, it is popular. Hall, correct? It is at City Hall, yes. Um, we have, we sell flags, you know, people can dedicate flags to family members or loved ones. And we also, last year we had uh, a family uh, bring displays that the public was able to look at and appreciate. So I mean, that, we've previously held it at the park but i know with the weather in november it's always been hit or miss Mm -hmm. so since it's moved here i know that the city hall boardroom is just packed it is packed it is it's a very it's an intimate event but it's a popular event yeah um so after veterans day we celebrate the christmas holiday season and that comes with parade of lights and our winter festival so tell me what you've got planned or what you're starting to plan for those all right well again we are still in the early planning stages of that event it is on december 7th this year um the parade will start at five o'clock at city hall and it ends at veterans of park where the winter festival will be going on uh the festival includes the tree lighting ceremony snow rink pictures with santa and mrs claus and then we'll also have local vendors there offering holiday items for sale and and that's i mean i hate to sound like a broken record but that that's another event that's just continued to grow it has grown each year and this Uh, is our third year for the winter festival is that correct i know we've done the parade of lights since probably 2010 this may be our fourth year for the winter festival maybe that's what i meant yeah (laughs) i I believe this will be our fourth year and the snow rink is also a big attraction for that event as well yeah i'm just always amazed at how many people come out to the winter festival just in the short amount of time that we've had this event it's become very popular it it has and that one is growing so um in in the night with fireworks which is also a, a special attraction as well so it's a good event so is there anything else about the parks department or the events that you put on that you're wanting to share Um, And it is a department. It's all hands-on. Every event, the park staff and the maintenance staff always go above and beyond. They're always there whenever you need them. Um, um, And on top of that, other departments, too, because, you know, you've got public works, fire, PD, city hall, staff from a lot of different departments work a lot of our events. It's not just the parks department. Yeah, and it, I think it's safe to say that there's something for everyone there throughout, is. Through, throughout the year. There is. There's something, and that's our goal is to make sure that everybody has something at our bigger events, family, fun activities, entertainment, something for everyone. That's awesome. Well, I want to thank you, Kathy, so much for joining me today. We've been talking with Parks and Rec event coordinator Kathy Melindy. For more information on our Laverne Parks and Rec or on our events specifically, visit LavernTN.gov or follow the Laverne Parks and Rec Facebook page. Until next time, I'm Ann Smith. Thanks for joining us.